The coronation has now been announced as May the 6th in 2023. Of course, it falls on a very particular special date for two ex-royals known as Harry and Meghan. But how special will that day now become? morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. And as ever, nice to have your company today. Hope you're all keeping well, fine and dandy. And as ever, thank you so much for your kind comments about some of the videos that we've recently put out, including on this day. I know, a lot of people do remember Adam Ant with such wonderful affection, don't they? He was phenomenal though, you know? I mean, when you think about it, he wrote, produced, directed, designed, came up with all of those concepts from Prince Charming, uh, the Dandy Highwaymen, everything, you know? Uh, really, really special guy, very nice guy as well when you meet him, very down to earth and very grateful for his success. Had a few lean years, you know, went through a few difficult times, but as ever, the music and the talent live on. But, you know, I think what I find amazing about those particular uh, pop stars of that era, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, is the fact that they did it all without social media. You know, they just did it, didn't they? That was the power of the people. We went out and bought those records, those books, calendars, posters, you name it. When I was at school, you know, Adamant was huge, let me tell you, just absolutely huge. Couldn't believe it when I met him. A little bit up there, but like Kim Wilde, I know, it's frightening. <laughs> they say don't meet your heroes, don't they? Yes, please, I know, I'll be so disappointed if you met me in the flesh, I can see. What do you mean you're agreeing, nodding? I know, <laughs> cheeky. I won't share the jammy dodgers back as ever <laughs> to your breaking roll story of the day. Now, this story, you know, as I say, is now a worldwide date and we're absolutely thrilled by this because it's the date set now for the coronation of King Charles III. I mean, phenomenal to think, isn't it? And, you know, a lot of people are saying it's gone very quickly. You know, why have they now decided to do it so quickly? Well, let's be honest, you know, he's 73 years old. He's coming up to 74. You know, it's going to be a long, arduous time, a long, arduous day, as we know that it was for our late and beautiful mom. Queen Elizabeth II and she was decades younger and she said it was incredibly tiring but the bigger problem now is of course the slimmed down version particularly just in guests this is really all about security whatever you may read you know the lesser important guests that you have then of course you don't need uh, so much security but the biggest thing is of course everybody who's anybody will wish to attend that coronation because you go down in history you know, let's be honest, you will go down in history. And, you know, everybody looks at the guest list and says why they're there, who they're there, all of that sort of stuff. But of course, the focal point has returned as ever uh, back to his uh, sort of errant youngest son, Prince Harry. Will they be invited? Well, what I can tell you first and exclusive as ever here on the show is contacting the palace. They confirm, yes, they will be invited. But they will not confirm the role that they will be playing. Now, I find this a very difficult dilemma, really, uh, for, of course, King Charles, because he has this situation, doesn't he? Um, obviously, he would want his youngest son there, and the family, you know, Meghan included, that really would be seen as a bit of a slur, wouldn't it, a bit of a spike. It all really is ever depends on this book and just how damaging that book remains to King Charles, you know, I mean, six months down the line, if that book is still reverberating with negativity, then perhaps he could have a rethink, you know, or indeed the courtiers around him. What a situation that could be if that did happen. The bigger problem is they won't confirm at this stage whether Prince Harry or indeed Meghan and their two young children will have a major role in this particular coronation or indeed if they will be invited onto the balcony which will be the biggest pinnacle of course they weren't invited onto the balcony for the platinum jubilee celebrations of our late monarch things are really going at a very fast pace but what we can tell you is this first and exclusive on the show the office of harry and meghan have already sent congratulations over via of course a personal electronic message and more, and more importantly, of course, allowing everybody to know that they will be keeping the date free and offering hearty congratulations. Now, <laughs> you can read of that what you will. Either way, is that a good or a bad sign for King Charles? And more importantly now, doesn't it make perfect sense as to why Prince Harry was very keen to now draw back on his particular autobiography, his memoir about the man that he's become? As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.